you that a vote of no confidence against Soliem Zamanga has failed. That means he remains the mayor of Chwane. Uh, let's find out what happened today. Apparently EFF members crucial. They abstained from voting. The SABC's uh, Sipo Sturman is with us. Uh, Sipo, what happened? Well, a very good evening to you and our viewers at home. Indeed, it was a long day here at the Tswane uh, Chamber Councils where the ANC, of course, uh, sponsored uh, that motion of no confidence against uh, the DA's uh, Solim Simanga. As you correctly stated there, that motion has been uh, soundly defeated. And if I can just uh, uh, go through the numbers here, those that were in support of this motion, uh, they voted uh, about 77. Now, those that were against it, they were around uh, 95. But most interestingly, those that abstained, uh, which included EFF members, were around uh, 21. Now that tells you, if you add up these numbers, uh, uh, that uh, if we didn't have as many abstainees, then perhaps uh, we would have had a different uh, result. But certainly the ANC's uh, motion has been uh, defeated here, and uh, the ANC has told us that uh, they will be challenging this result in court. And the reason that they are doing so is that uh, earlier on in the proceedings, they had asked uh, that uh, the speaker, that is the speaker of the council, Katleko Mateba, that uh, she uh, puts uh, this vote it must be uh, one that is uh, private, that is, a, a, it must be a secret ballot rather. But then uh, that um, motion was dismissed by the Speaker saying that uh, it must be an open vote and they feel that, uh, well, by the Speaker uh, of the Council uh, denying uh, this vote uh, being that of a secret ballot, then uh, they've intimidated what they call is the black caucus of the DA that they had counted uh, on, and, uh, on in terms of voting with the ANC. They're saying that uh, considering what has happened uh, in PE, we know that uh, a councillor in PE that had voted against the DA was quickly dismissed from the party. So they're saying that uh, by having an open ballot you are intimidating the members that are unhappy uh, with uh, the administration under Solim Simanga. Of course um the allegations that they are putting against the mayor they include that service delivery has been poor in the city of Tswane, there's been water there's been water shortage, uh, water shortage, uh, water shortage issues uh, in a number of surrounding uh, areas in Tswane, but also there is that um, Francis, that scandal that involves uh, the 12 billion tender scandal that was uh, of course um, signed by the city manager. They're saying that uh, Solim Simanga was aware of this and that based on those reasons they called for the mayor to be removed. But that motion by the ANC has been defeated, but they're saying they will be challenging uh, this result in court. Sipo, very quickly, we're running out of time. The EFF uh, hasn't hesitated to threaten him before. Why did EFF members abstain today? Well, that is quite interesting because uh, last month uh, the EFF had its own uh, motion of uh, uh, no confidence against uh, the mayor, Solem Simanga. However, that motion of no confidence was blocked again by the speaker because the speaker said that... Uh, the motion had not uh, followed a proper procedure and so the EFF then staged uh, a walkout. But then what has happened here, and we did speak briefly with the mayor, and the mayor says, well, he does not consider the EFF to be in his corner, but rather the EFF wants to remove Solim Simanga in its own terms. So that it's all about political... Um, Scoring, the EFF would not want to remove uh, the mayor in a motion sponsored uh, by the ANC. So the, the EFF, uh, as we understand it, would rather have remove Solim Simanga in a motion uh, that is sponsored by themselves. But obviously, we know that uh, EFF abstaining from this uh, has uh, saved the mayor Solim Simanga. All right, uh, thank you very much, the SABC Sipo Sturman. And the breaking news this hour, Solim Zamanga remains the city of Chwane mayor. That a vote of no confidence against him failing, but the ANC wants to take it to court.